I'm from Mali, West Africa. And I'm originally from the Gambia. So I'm from Sudan. I'm from Ghana. Originally, I'm from Ethiopia. My family came from Eritrea. It's been a very huge uh, supportive organization for our community. The most important thing about ACT is that it brings community together, it brings all Africans together. So finding issues that concern a significant parts of our population and then finding very concrete and tactical ways and building campaigns around them to address that is uh, so key. So I got involved with the language access uh, campaign. Uh, we set up a committee and uh, we did surveys and we called uh, government uh, city officials um, and we tried to make sure that our voices were heard. During the language campaign, we've been to City Hall. We talked about the experience some Africans went through about not being able to express themselves. So we express our concern. Uh, so it felt really important to me uh, that members of my community would now be able to access uh, resources and services in, that they need uh, in the city in their own language. Because of all of you who are able to add French and Arabic, making sure that you get quality translation and interpretation when you request it, when you go to courts, hospitals and the schools, we couldn't have done it without all of you. This administration moved to cut off temporary protected status, TPS, for hundreds of thousands of people already in the country who are going to lose their legal status, who are going to lose their right to work unless we fight and we win. <laughs> Uh, I'm myself a TPS holder. I've been in this country for 20 years. It was terrible news when we heard about, uh, you know, the decision to terminate TPS. So I, I spent here most of my my life. So like uh, this is this is technically my, my country. So I'm I still I'm not like permanent resident. But if I leave here, then I don't even know where I want to go. So this is my country. This is where my home base. So. It's unfortunate why the Community Guardian program is, is necessary. It's just a result of the strong immigration enforcement that's been going around. And so we needed an avenue where community leaders would be able to access information and access legal counsel. We are trying to actually train people to be able to defend themselves, to know their rights, and also to be able to advocate for others that don't know what their rights are. And hopefully you'll be able to assist that person uh, that's in either in immigration custody or is in uh, detention or is facing deportation. For example, there, it was a family who was in a very needed for immigration service, but they don't know how to get one. So when I was a community guardian, I make an announcement if anybody needed, this is my number. And someone called me and connected me with this family and act give a lawyer and the person problem was solved. We're Africans, right? We're the sons and daughters of Africans. We've survived worse. This country is built. The foundation of this country. The body of this country. The roof of this country was built. Our union is a hospitality workers union and um, about two years ago we started a big campaign in DC to organize uh, airport workers who work for concessionaires and food service workers and 
most of these workers are uh, East African workers, mainly from Ethiopia and Eritrea. So we decided that you know this organizing campaign should have a, a community component because you know most Ethiopians and Eritreans, most of us are uh, recent immigrants to America. So we we partnered with African communities together. You know, ACT was a great ac asset to the organizing in the, in the airports because um, they were able to bring the community, you know, groups and uh, the church and uh, various uh, prominent Ethiopians in the DC area to, to come together to back the workers and to put politicians and the companies like to you know to support in the not to fight the organizing that these Ethiopian workers were doing. One of the things that I'm excited about is for the governance board to expand to include actual members and to have a democratic process within the membership to select board members. Um, you know, we started off small, as most founding boards do. So if we can get the war out and have more and more people, more and more Africans come to the meetings, I think that would be way easier for us to do what we intend for the community. ACT already does a, you know, quite a bit of advocacy at the national level, but I'm excited to see more of that. I think, again, a unified African voice on these issues of deportation, uh, the visa ban, you know, anecdotally called the Muslim ban, we could just as easily call it the African ban, but no one's calling it that. Um, deportation without due process, denaturalization, diversity visa, like these are all the things that uh, uh, no one else is really speaking to from an African Perspective, so I'm excited to see what ACT is able to achieve. We are helping side by side each other to build the African community strong. Because the work still continues. It's not over yet and in this administration we have a whole lot more work to do. Your life is not what you do for yourself but life is like what you do for other people. So that's why I'm proud to be involved with the ACT and I'm proud with the act of being in New York City and the United States helping all African community. Forward ever, backward never. Forward ever, backwards never. Who are we?